in the quiet town of Eldridge, nestled between dense forests and misty hills. An ancient manor stood abandoned, its history shrouded in darkness and whispers of the past. The locals avoided the manor, believing it cursed, as those who dared to enter its gates at night were never seen again. The story begins with a group of curious teenagers, drawn to the manor by the allure of the unknown and the thrill of defiance. One fateful night, under the cloak of darkness, they crossed the threshold, their laughter and chatter piercing the silence. The manor, once grand and opulent, was now a shell of its former self, with peeling paint, shattered windows, and an air of desolation. As they explored the decrepit halls, their flashlights casting eerie shadows, an unsettling feeling crept over them, as if unseen eyes were watching their every move. In the heart of the manor, they found a grand ballroom, its chandelier hanging precariously from the ceiling, and in the center, a grand piano covered in dust. On a dare, one of the teenagers, Alex, played a haunting melody that echoed through the empty corridors. As the last note lingered in the air, a cold wind swept through the room, extinguishing their lights and plunging them into darkness. Panic ensued as the once familiar rooms turned into a labyrinth of shadows and whispers. The teens felt an oppressive force bearing down on them, as if the manor itself was alive and malevolent, separated lost, they stumbled through the dark, their screams echoing off the walls, unheard by the world outside. Alex, finding himself alone, wandered into a library filled with ancient books and forgotten lore. In the dim light, he noticed a journal, its pages yellowed with age, detailing the manor's grim history of rituals and sacrifices, performed in a hidden chamber to appease a malevolent entity that the manor's owners had once worshipped. As the story unfolds, the teens must unravel the mysteries of the manor, confront their deepest fears, and find a way to escape the clutches of the darkness that envelops them. Little do they know, the manor holds secrets far more terrifying than they could imagine, and their intrusion has reawakened something sinister, something that won't let them leave easily. This tale sets the stage for a series of chilling events that can be continued, delving deeper into the manor's cursed past, the nature of the entity within and the fates of those who dared to uncover its dark secrets. As Alex thumbed through the ancient journal, the flickering light of his flashlight revealed a map of the manor, marking a secret passage hidden behind the library's bookshelf. Driven by a mix of fear and curiosity, he pushed against the shelf, revealing a narrow, dust-choked corridor that descended into the Earth's depths. With no other options and the oppressive darkness of the manor bearing down on him, Alex ventured into the passage, the air growing colder with each step. Meanwhile, the other teenagers, Sarah, Jake, and Mia, found themselves trapped in a series of interconnected rooms, each more disturbing than the last. In one room, Lifelike statues of previous visitors seemed to watch their every move, eyes filled with silent screams. In another, clocks ticked backwards, and mirrors reflected twisted versions of reality, distorting their perceptions and heightening their dread. 
Back in the underground passage, Alex reached an ancient chamber, its walls etched with cryptic symbols, and the air thick with the scent of decay. In the center stood an altar, and upon it, a book bound in what appeared to be human skin, its pages filled with dark incantations. As he approached, the ground trembled, and a guttural whisper filled the chamber, speaking in a language long forgotten, yet it resonated within him, urging him to read the forbidden words aloud. Above ground, the rest of the group felt the manor tremble, hearing distant whispers that seemed to call their names. Drawn by an inexplicable force, they navigated the twisted hallways, eventually converging at the entrance to the hidden passage where Alex had gone. As they descended, the whispers grew louder, merging into a cacophony of voices that promised freedom in exchange for unspeakable acts. Unbeknownst to them, each step they took towards the ancient chamber was a step closer to the heart of the manor's curse, a place where the boundary between the living and the dead blurred, and where the entity that had lain dormant for centuries awaited its chance to break free from its ethereal prison. The story of Eldridge Manor and its unwelcome guests was far from over. The secrets hidden within its walls and the true nature of the haunting would continue to unravel, leading the teenagers on a journey that would test the limits of their sanity and their will to survive. The horrors they had faced were but a prelude to the darker truths that lay waiting in the shadows. Truths that could only be uncovered by delving deeper into the manor's accursed legacy. In the chamber's suffocating silence, Alex, with trembling hands, opened the ancient book on the altar. The moment his fingers brushed against its pages, the whispers coalesced into a clear voice, compelling him to recite the incantations written in a script that twisted and writhed like living shadows. As he spoke, the chamber's symbols glowed with an unholy light, casting long, twisted shadows that writhed like serpents on the walls. Above, as Sarah, Jake, and Mia descended through the secret passage, the air grew thick with a sense of impending doom. The walls seemed to pulse with a heartbeat, synchronizing with their own, drawing them deeper into the bowels of the manor. They arrived at the chamber's entrance just as Alex uttered the last of the incantations. A sudden, deafening silence fell followed by a rumble as the ground shook violently, nearly throwing them to the ground. From the depths of the manor, a dark energy surged, flowing through the hidden veins of the ancient structure, awakening long dormant spirits that had been trapped within its walls. The teenagers, now reunited, watched in horror as spectral figures emerged from the walls, their faces contorted in eternal agony, their whispers melding into a chorus of despair. The entity that the manor had contained, now partially freed by the spoken incantations, began to manifest in the chamber. It was a formless shadow at first, coalescing into a towering figure of darkness with eyes that burned like coals, and a presence that chilled the very air. It spoke in a voice that resonated not only in the chamber, but also in their minds, offering them a dark bargain in exchange for their release.
as the entity's true power began to unfurl, strange phenomena occurred throughout the manor. Rooms shifted and changed, as if the building itself was alive, trapping the teenagers in a maze of endless corridors and impossible geometries. The outside world seemed increasingly distant, as if the manor itself had slipped into a pocket of reality where the usual rules no longer applied. Outside, the night grew darker, and the forest encroached upon the manor, as if nature itself conspired to seal away the awakening horror. The air became thick with the scent of decay, and the whispers of the forest seemed to echo the manor's malevolent chorus, blurring the line between the haunted interior ominous exterior. In this nexus of supernatural forces, Alex, Sarah, Jake, and Mia found themselves not just fighting for survival, but also facing the darkest corners of their souls as the manor and its inhabitant began to exploit their fears, secrets, and memories. The story of their night in Eldridge Manor was far from over, as the boundary between reality and nightmare continued to blur, setting the stage for further horrors and revelations in the heart of the cursed estate. In the ancient chamber, as Alex hesitated before the ominous book, the air thickened and the whispering voices crescendoed into a deafening roar. Compelled by forces beyond his understanding, he began to recite the incantations, each word tearing at the veil between worlds. The chamber shook violently, stones falling from the ceiling, as if the very foundations of the manor sought to close in on him. Above, Sarah, Jake, and Mia reached the chamber entrance witnessing the scene of chaos unfolding. The air shimmered with a dark energy, coalescing around Alex, who stood transfixed. His voice unrecognizable. Shadows danced along the walls, forming grotesque shapes and whispering malevolent secrets. The friends realized too late that the manor was not just a prison for the entity, also a conduit for its power, and they had unwittingly become part of a ritual that threatened to unleash it upon the world. As the incantation reached its climax, the boundary between the physical and the spectral realms weakened. The friends watched in horror as spectral figures emerged from the walls, their faces twisted in agony and rage, remnants of the manor's dark past, seeking retribution or release. The entity, now partially freed, manifested as a shapeless mass of shadows and whispers, its presence suffocating. In a desperate bid to save Alex and stop the ritual, Sarah, armed with a newfound resolve, and knowledge gleaned from the manor's haunted history, began to search for a way to reverse the incantation. She recalled a counter-ritual mentioned in a tattered diary they had found earlier in the manor's library, written by a former inhabitant who had once stopped the entity's emergence. As Sarah attempted to recite the counter-ritual, the entity fought back with terrifying visions and physical manifestations, trying to break her concentration and will. Jake and Mia, meanwhile, fought to protect her from the physical threats, confronting the animated statues and spectral apparitions that now roamed the chamber, each touch threatening to drain their life force and add them to the manor's collection of lost souls. The struggle within the chamber grew more desperate as the boundary between worlds thinned further. The 
entity's whispers becoming clearer, promising dark rewards for their surrender and eternal torment for their resistance. The air was thick with the power of unbridled supernatural fury, the outcome hanging in the balance as the teens battled against the ancient curse. Their fates intertwined with the dark history of Eldridge Manor. The story of their night in the manor, filled with terror and revelations, continued to unfold, leading them deeper into the heart of darkness that lay at its core, where the true extent of the entity's power and the secrets of the manor were yet to be fully revealed. Amidst the chaos, Sarah's voice grew stronger as she recited the counter-ritual, her words cutting through the darkness like a beacon of light. The entity, sensing its grip weakening, unleashed a torrent of spectral energy, attempting to silence her. The chamber trembled with the force of their clashing wills, the ancient stones cracking under the pressure of the supernatural battle. Outside the chamber, the rest of the manor began to respond to the conflict at its heart, hallways twisted and elongated, rooms shifted and locked, trapping the malevolent spirits within and preventing them from aiding their master. The manor itself seemed to be fighting a dual battle, containing the evil within while struggling against the entity's overwhelming desire to break free. In the midst of the turmoil, Alex, partially freed from the entity's control by Sarah's efforts, experienced fleeting moments of clarity. He saw the horror of their situation and the danger the entity posed not just to them, but to the world beyond the manor's cursed walls. With every ounce of his will, he fought to regain control. His internal struggle mirroring the external battle raging around them. The entity, now frantic, shifted its tactics, attempting to manipulate the fears and doubts of the teenagers. It conjured illusions of their deepest fears, trying to break their resolve. Jake faced the manifestation of his guilt over past mistakes, while Mia confronted the embodiment of her insecurities and fears of abandonment. The entities sought to isolate them, to turn them against each other and weaken their collective strength. As the counter ritual neared completion, the air in the chamber thickened and time seemed to slow. The spectral figures that had been attacking them began to waver forms becoming less distinct, as if the fabric of their existence was unraveling. The entity, now visibly weakened, let out a piercing scream that reverberated through the manor, a sound filled with anger, fear, and desperation. With one final push, Sarah completed the counter ritual, and a blinding light flooded the chamber silencing the entity's scream and dispelling the darkness. The oppressive atmosphere lifted momentarily, giving the teenagers a brief respite. However, they knew the battle was not over. They had only managed to contain the entity, not defeat it. As the light receded, they realized the manor was still under the entity's influence its walls imbued with centuries of darkness and suffering. They needed to find a way to permanently banish the entity and cleanse the manor of its malevolent presence. The secrets to achieving this lay scattered throughout the manor, hidden in its shifting rooms and elusive corridors, waiting to be discovered. Their ordeal in the Eldridge Manor had entered a new phase one that would require them to delve even deeper into its cursed history and confront the very essence of the evil that lurked within. The night was far from over, 
and the true test of their courage and resolve was yet to come. As the light from the counter ritual dimmed, the teenagers found themselves in a transformed version of the manor. The once oppressive atmosphere was momentarily lifted, but the air still buzzed with an undercurrent of malevolence, a reminder of the entity's lingering presence. They realized the manor was a living maze, its layout puzzle connected to the entity's life force. Determined to find a permanent solution, the group decided to split up to cover more ground, each taking a piece of the ancient map they found in the library. The map hinted at several key locations within the manor that held the secrets to the entity's power, and possibly the way to destroy it. Sarah ventured into the depths of the manor's forsaken garden overgrown with thorny vines that seemed to watch and move with a sinister intent. She discovered an old greenhouse, its glass fogged and shattered, hiding an array of peculiar plants that thrived in the darkness, feeding off the malevolent energy of the manor. Meanwhile, Jake explored the manor's dilapidated chapel, where the entity had first been summoned centuries ago. The chapel, desecrated and decaying, held the remnants of ancient rituals and faded inscriptions that spoke of a celestial alignment capable of sealing away the darkness. The stained glass windows, though broken, depicted scenes of celestial beings battling shadows, hinting at a cosmic struggle mirrored within the manor's walls. Mia found herself drawn to the manor's observatory, a place where reality seemed thinnest and the stars shone unnaturally bright. Within, celestial maps and arcane instruments pointed to a specific alignment of stars a cosmic event that was nearing its peak. She realized that the manor's construction aligned with these celestial patterns, suggesting that its very architecture was designed to harness cosmic energies. Alex, still grappling with the remnants of the entity's influence, retraced his steps to the chamber where the ritual had taken place. There, he found hidden writings on the altar, revealing that the entity was bound to the manor, not just by the rituals, but also by a physical anchor hidden somewhere within its walls. As they explored, the manor seemed to anticipate their actions, its corridors and rooms shifting, trying to confuse and trap them. Despite this, each clue they uncovered brought them closer to understanding the true nature of the entity and how it could be defeated. They communicated their findings through walkie-talkies, piecing together the puzzle of the manor's dark history. The entity, weakened but far from defeated, watched their progress. Its ability to influence their actions reduced but still potent. It whispered threats and promises, trying to turn them against each other and sow discord. However, the experiences shared by the teenagers in the manor 
had forged between them a bond of trust and mutual determination. As the night wore on, the cosmic alignment that Mia had discovered drew nearer, and the entity's power grew more unstable. The teenagers realized that their window of opportunity to act was closing. They needed to find the manor's heart, the physical anchor of the entity, and perform a ritual during the celestial alignment to sever the entity's connection to the manor and banish it forever. The quest to uncover the final secrets of Eldridge Manor and end its curse was far from complete. With the teenagers facing not only the malevolent force of the entity, but also the treacherous, ever-changing labyrinth of the manor itself, their journey was set to take them deeper into the realms of the supernatural, challenging their sanity and resolve as they fought to end the nightmare that had ensnared them. As the light faded, the teenagers, exhausted but resolute, regrouped in the ancient chamber. Their immediate survival against the entity's onslaught, giving them a glimmer of hope. The brief victory, however, was overshadowed by the realization that the entity, though weakened, was far from defeated. The manor, with its walls soaked in centuries of darkness, continued to shift and groan under the weight of the malevolent force within. Determined to end the nightmare, the group, led by Sarah's newfound knowledge and Alex's regained clarity, embarked on a desperate quest through the manor's ever-changing labyrinth, guided by the fragmented clues scattered throughout the estate. They uncovered the true origin of the entity, a powerful spirit bound to the manor by ancient rites, fueled by tragedy and betrayal. As dawn approached, their journey led them to the manor's forgotten heart, an underground crypt sealed away and hidden from the world. Inside, they found the remains of the manor's original owner, a tormented soul who had summoned the entity in a misguided quest for eternal life. The crypt, filled with arcane symbols and dark energy, held the key to binding the entity once more. Using the knowledge gleaned from the manor's secrets, the teenagers performed a ritual of sealing, combining their collective will to confront and contain the entity. The air crackled with energy as they chanted the ancient words, each syllable echoing through the crypt with the power of centuries. The entity, sensing its impending doom, unleashed its fury, manifesting as a swirling vortex of shadow and malice, attempting to break the circle and thwart the ritual. In the heart of the storm, the teenagers held fast, their unity and shared resolve forming a barrier against the darkness. With the final words of the ritual spoken, a surge of light burst forth, piercing the shadow and enveloping the entity. A deafening silence followed, broken only by the sound of collapsing stone as the crypt sealed itself, entombing the entity once again. As the sun rose, casting its light on the weary but triumphant group, the manor settled into an uneasy peace its halls quiet and still. The curse of Eldridge Manor was broken, or so it seemed. The entity was contained, but the manor, steeped in a history of darkness and tragedy, would always bear the scars of its past. The teenagers exited the manor as dawn broke, leaving behind the shadows and horrors of the night. They emerged 
not as the carefree youths who had entered, but as survivors of a darkness few could imagine. As they walked away, the manor loomed behind them, its future uncertain. Would it stand as a silent guardian over the sealed evil? Or would curiosity and ambition once again awaken the horrors within? Their story ended here, but the legend of Eldridge Manor lived on. A cautionary tale of the thin veil between curiosity and recklessness, and the eternal struggle between light and darkness.